We're going to take this boring old slide and turn it into this or even this. To get started, let's go to slides.new to create a new presentation. So I've got my boring slide here. The first thing I'm going to do is click the plus button to add a new slide. I'm going to click and drag to highlight everything and delete it from the slide. And I want my title to stand out, so I'm going to use a shape. I'm going to choose the rounded rectangle here. And I'm going to click from off of the slide over here and drag that shape out onto the slide like this. Make the line color transparent. Make the fill color this blue, but you can choose any color that you want. And I'm going to click and drag this yellow diamond all the way to the right so that now it's more pill shaped like this. Now I'm going to double click inside the shape and write my title. And I'm going to highlight that title by pressing Command and A or Control and A on my keyboard. Change the text color to white. I'm going to make it bold. I'm going to choose the font that I want and I'm going to increase the size as well. And then resize the shape just to bring the text away from the edge a little bit like this. So the main thing is these bullet points are just boring. So we're going to bring them to life with some icons. A great place to get icons is Google's material icons library. So you can just search Google for material icons or you can click the link in the description. And all of these icons are available for you to use completely for free. So you're going to choose the icons that match the bullet points that you have. So for me, the first bullet point is about scheduling. So maybe I'm going to look for a calendar icon, for example. And I like this one that says today. And on the right hand side, I can choose the color that I want this to be. And I can also change the size. I like increasing the size to make them bigger so that I can resize them smaller. I don't want them to be pixelated the other way around. And I'm going to click this button to download the PNG image. So I want you to do this for the other icons that you need as well. Once you've got all of your icons that you need, you're going to insert the first one by going to insert and then image, upload from computer, and just choose the first one that you need. And I'm going to resize it by holding shift on my keyboard and then clicking and dragging on the top right handle like this. And holding shift just keeps it all in proportion. I'm going to make it roughly this size here. Now I want a title to go next to that icon. So I click to create a new text box. Then I click next to the icon. I type in the title that I want and I'm going to move this text box next to the icon like this, make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to choose to bold my text like so and make sure you've chosen the font that you want as well. Now we're going to add another text box and I'm going to click just under the calendar icon this time. And you're going to put some text in there that explains the point if you want to. And again, resize this text box so it's roughly the same width as the title and the icon like so. Now I want to make sure everything's aligned nicely. So with this text box selected, I'm going to hold shift and then click on that icon that I have. Now right click, choose align horizontally and then choose left. If ever you've tried to click and drag things around to align them, that is a massive game changer, will save you lots of time. Now my text box and the icon are nicely lined up on the left hand side. Okay, now I'm going to click and drag to highlight all three of those different objects there. And I'm going to copy and paste by doing Command and C or Control and C, followed by Command and V or Control and V. And that's going to give me a copy of all three of these things. The first thing I'm going to do is right click on that icon, choose replace image, go to upload from computer and then choose my second icon. Replacing the image like this saves me from having to resize it and try and get it exactly the same size. I know now that it's the same size as the first one. Then I just change my title text and I change the description text underneath it. And same as before, I'm going to click and drag to highlight all three objects, Command and C or Control and C, Command and V or Control and V to paste. Move that one roughly over here. Again, right click on the image, replace image, upload from computer and choose my last icon here and then edit all of the other information. All right, now that I've got my three different points on the slide, I want to group each three into its own group. So I click and drag to highlight all the items, right click and choose group and do that again for the other two. And now I'm going to use one of those tricks from earlier. I'm going to click and highlight all of these groups, choose right click and then align vertically and choose top. Now that's aligned all of those groups of objects at the top so I know that all of the titles are in line together. Now you might have noticed though that they're slightly different spacing between them. So I'm going to take this last group and move it slightly further to the right like this. So it's roughly the same distance from the edge of the slide as the one on the left. Highlight all of the groups again like this. This time when I right click I'm going to choose distribute and then horizontally. And that's going to make sure these three groups of objects are evenly spaced across the slide. And that is how you take a boring slide of bullet points into something much more interesting. But you might still think that that slide has too much text. So you could create an even more minimalist version of this, like this one. 
I've just taken my three icons, put the titles underneath, and I can still make all of those points when I'm giving my presentation. If you don't want to create this from scratch, you can click the link in the description to get this template completely for free. If you've got any questions or there's something else you want me to make a video about, drop it in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.